Hello YouTube, this is the DVD Show. Legend of the World Wide Pen Up Part 97. In the last episode, we scaled a very annoying tower. In this episode, we're going to kill my favorite boss in the entire game. Now, this boss. I'll get attacked by vast amounts of bloom. This boss is very similar to the fight with the fish in the water temple, but just a whole lot better, in my opinion. How's that? You can't get to him. I'll find a way. <laughs> um, one thing that will be a problem with this boss fight, you two, will be gravity. You will find yourself falling a lot. And there's very little you can do about it. There's, there's just one of those bo boss fights near a, a pitfall kind of thing. Yeah. Well, not really a pit for you, you just fall in your ass a lot. Anyway, YouTube. Fucking Intr Ridley. Introducing the Twilight Dragon Ag... Ag... Oh, oak. Ag... 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 So tell me in a second. Agar... Agarok. 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 Okay, fair enough. Well, for now on we'll call him Ridley, because that's basically what he is. Yeah, it's Meta Ridley with a goatee by the looks of it. Right, so, uh... Yeah, it's what? you, Adam! I am not Meta Ridley with a goatee. <laughs> right, first things first. Hook... Claw shake way off these things. Get, get yourself as high as possible. Going from. What's what's the idea? What, what, are, you, what, what are you trying to do? I was going to show you now. Hook on its tail, and then it's time to gain some pounds by putting on your iron boots. You pull him down, it, <laughs> and he loses his armor, and then. Watch, rinse, repeat. For now, yes. Yeah, this guy has two forms, and the second form is very ferocious. I'm surprised he hasn't got all the armor weighing him down. Who the hell would design armor for a dragon? Have you ever seen Aragorn? It's a movie about about dragon riders. I thought it was rather good, but a lot of people thought it was shite because they didn't really do that well with the book. But I thought it was a good movie. I had front of the cinema. That evening. Is that, is that the one where this, where this idiot uh, has, has to use an elvish language to perform magic? Yeah. Yeah, I have seen it. There I'll, you go, that, that dragon armor, mate. Obvious glowing wheat spot. Yeah. Look, but, I'm so fucking pissed right now, I'm gonna completely lose all my armor. It's on! It's so on! <laughs> Dovakin, Dovakin, Alessin Dosvalin! I'm looking for a Skyrim reference me there. Well, you find a huge dragon and it's, it's pretty much exactly like. Um, what the hell was that? Alduin. That, that's the dragon nemesis of uh, that game. Mm -hmm. What, what was that? What was that shout that, that causes dragons to land? The stick dar. That's fus, fus ro dar. You mean you know that? That's 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 um, that's a force push. Oh, that's the shout that you make them fly off the edge. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's a, there's a shout in that game that actually, that if you if you manage to do it right, actually forces dragons to land because it fills them with so much hate they can't concentrate on the flying or some bullshit like right, that. Right, second part of the boss fight, you two. Now you've got his armor, you need to close your ear way around, avoid this thing's obvious flame, and keep try changing direction. When it starts flaming, it will slow down its um, turning. That's the best chance to get behind it. Once you get behind it, try Try and grab hold of its uh... back. Yeah. 
go on. Um, two. I'm trying. Behind you. Go on. That one. Oh. I missed it one more. I didn't give you much chance, did you? What the hell? I, I'm using the Z target here. It's, it sometimes doesn't knock onto the dragon. It's a bit slow in that way. Is there a different targeting system you could use? Like one that works better in rain or something? Oh, one more, I'll try that. I don't usually do this. I like the switch target, I hate the hole because it's in Skyward Sword. And in Skyward Sword, you're actually forced to use it, it's retarded. But yeah. Oh! Blast! Well, you could use the switch target until you get until you get there. But it looks like he, he, he stays like that for a while before you actually need to uh, you know, attack him. Uh, Before he actually carries on attacking, too. The time gets shorter and shorter, though. Yeah, I think, I think the score that you get on his back, he starts getting an arc on with you. Mm. That's the concept of dragon with a arc on. <laughs> I say, good fellow, let go of me. I say, dear chap, what the belly do you think you're doing? I've got this down now, I'm just sort of holding Z. Um, quickly flicking the B button. Right, he's stopped. Go on, you can get him now, surely. Whee! Right. Stab, rend, maim, disfigure, gouge. Attack, kill, maim. You can actually hit him when he's on the floor, but you don't get much of a window. Yeah. Alright, let's go again. But yeah, I think it's a really well designed boss fight. Use your iron boots to actually um, get the arm off him, use your claw shots and lots. And you can... And you actually kill the... You actually kill the dragon in a way you'd expect. Not like in, um, in Ocarina of Time, where you'd um, just wait until he comes out of the hole and whack his face and all shoot him out of ways in the air. So yeah, I really like the way this boss fight is designed. It's really good. It is my favourite boss fight. You have to use game. your brain a bit. Come on, shoot me, shoot me. Go I dare you. That's it. He's getting pretty close to you, mate. You call yourself a dragon. I've seen, I've seen Charmander's a better fire than you have. You should sure pissing it off is a good idea. <laughs> you should go to the game from here. That's what, that's what my Link persona is like. I'm a, I'm a cocky sort of Link. <laughs> Shit, the non joint you do more damage. Just... Apparently. It, no, it's true. You just click. You just teleported through him then. Yeah, I don't think he actually heard it up like on the floor now. I just discovered that. Other one, mate. I know. I'm just trying to get up as high as possible. Is this another three hit kill kind of thing? Oh! Ouch! <laughs> Well, you hope it's another three hit kill kind of thing. Um, this thing is pretty strong. It is the um, last guardian of the um, Twilight Mirror pieces. That's the point. After we kill this thing, we've got no more Twilight Mirrors to get. Yeah, so after this thing, and pretty much kill Zan, then go kill Gandalf. But I'm going to do a few side things so we can actually um, get the magic arm and make the, the next two bosses easier. You mean we're nearly at the end of the game? Yes. <laughs> yes! We took about to do a three or four sessions though. Because oh. the, the last two dungeons are absolute bitch. Oh. 
Uh, not so much the not so much the final one. The final one, the, there actually are some rooms that you can skip, and only and only and go a different way. Don't you bother there, you're going straight through his fire thingy. I think below, I think below it. I'm sure they grab onto whatever it is now. Yeah, unless my camera's working. Right, come on, come on. Oh, oh, tempt him. I gotta tempt him. I'm the only baiters around here. I've seen syndicals that are better than you, and I thought you were a dragon. Come on, show me your real fire. That's it. Now you're ripping off Charizard a lot. <laughs> ah, Garok used flamethrower. <laughs> Go for it. Down, boy. That is dead. Oh, boy. You know it's dead. I actually did the finishing ending, ending blowing it then. That's why it said press A, stab his foot, so back through it. Huh. Now, Dragon, all you have to do is land on your back and you kill him. Unnecessarily epic, but fair enough. I wonder why those things don't smash. You know, maybe it uses if the uh, legendary heart containers smash that they are there to the help the legendary hero after he completes the the challenge to prove that he's prove his worth and stuff. I think you did it. You found the fourth shard. Now we have them all. Yay, we are now the shard master. Woot. Hey, Link. The words of the the words of the sages. Do you remember them? Uh, no, actually. Only the true ruler of the Twilly can destroy the Mirror of Twilight. Zant could Zant could only break the Mirror of Twilight into shards. He couldn't utterly shatter it. That's proof of his false kinship. Or well, maybe he just chose not to, you know, just because he could destroy something doesn't mean he can. He can't. Well, that's a powerful thing, he might want to keep it around. After all, a fake is a fake, and no matter how how much you dress it up, the real thing always wins. Zant can't. Zant's power it isn't his. It was given to him by someone. Ganondorf. Yeah. Hmm. He 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 prayed to the god of power, and Gandalf gave him some of his power so that he, so that Gan so he could be freed. He freed Gandalf. Okay, fair enough. I'll get you out of here. Are you sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Yeah, let's leave. I'm getting sick of this place already. Yeah, that's my favorite dungeon in the game. Yeah. Yeah, bear, bear in mind, we started this dungeon like three weeks ago. Yeah, well, I can't... Three weeks in the same bloody dungeon, you have lost interest. I can't, interest. um, work all the time. I have to take holiday like everybody else. Well, I don't know, I haven't had a holiday for, like, I don't know, about five years almost. Anyway, let's, um, return to the ground below. I say, did that thing just move towards you? Or, uh... Don't, don't, don't. Come on, R2-D2. Send me home. R2-D2 never had a huge freaking cannon on him. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop, beep. So, where to now, then? Um, let's go to the, um, let's go back to, um, oh, it's got the iron boots on. <laughs> Thud. Take him off, for the love of God, take him off, you're going to drive yourself, you stupid idiot. Uh, I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna put. I need to switch armors. I'll be fine. I can make it.
I'll tell you what, we'll switch on us, shall we? All right, you win, Lucifer. <laughs> Sarah. Actually, you probably could have made that. Oh, no, you couldn't. No, I couldn't. I really couldn't. All right, so uh, we're actually on 1525 now, so you want to leave it there? All right. In the next episode of you two, we shall go to Kakariko Village and deposit our rupees. See you guys then. See you then. <laughs>